Good morning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, at long last, but waiting for two weeks, chapter 746 for One Piece finally shows up. Oh my gosh, how long did we have to wait for this? Like two weeks or something? I would, I was pretty like um, angered myself to wanted to read the chapter and do a review on it, but. By that time, like there was something called Golden Week, like um, at Japan, you know. And honestly, if it's about is it, if it's about something about taking a break, that's fine, you know. But yeah, I read the chapter today, and I'm sorry for making this late because I had to create a crazy thumbnail for something. And this chapter, oh my gosh, this is like pretty crazy right now. And yeah, dang, Do Flamingo. You don't know when to stop, do you? Previously, last chapter, the birdcage had just started, and right now. It's ready. It has already begun right now. This is crazy, pretty crazy stuff. Oh my gosh. All right. During this chapter, we end up seeing the beginning where like people are killing each other and they're begging each other to stop. And Admiral Admiral Fujitora is just watching there. He is just watching there, like standing. No, just listening. He can't see anyway, but he's just hearing his his soldiers telling him, "Admiral, help me, please." You know, and the others is like saying here and there and Doflamingo says oh what's gonna happen you know is everyone gonna die everyone's gonna be a victim like getting slaughtered right now I'm like thinking oh my gosh this is pretty like um dangerous and crazy right now because of what Doflamingo has done you know and yeah things are even more intense like saying like um Doflamingo has yet has yet started this game whatsoever what and he finally gave out the list he finally gave out the list it shows us it shows at least most of the straw had pirate crew, and then Truff Law, King Riku, and honestly, like um, everything is shown right there. Rebecca, Violet, and Frankie, Robin, Sabo. I can't believe he found out that Sabo's there or something. Pretty, pretty crazy how he knows, or maybe something like someone else told him, like someone just interfered or interrupted, you know, or entered the island without knowing and. Usopp's like saying, ah, thank goodness he didn't know me. Then by the time he gets five stars, that's God, Usopp, and then 500 million. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was laughing so hard right there. All you guys had to like agree with me right here. Agree or disagree. I laughed so hard right there. Like, that was pretty hilarious of what I just saw right now. And later, like, um, Usopp's like, ah, oh, Ah shit, you know, and then so the Tantara dwarves go like, oh no, this is not good, and and yeah, it's like all they all try to run away with Usopp, but all trying to kill him and so forth, and yeah, and we end up seeing Zoro later, and I can't believe he found Trafalgar's tra Trafalgar Law sword and so forth, and managed to find his way, cause I thought he was gonna get lost, but surprisingly, he managed he manages to find Luffy and so forth, you know. And yeah, and then we get to a point where like um, there's a vice admiral talking to Fujitora saying you don't capture Doflamingo, and Fujitora says like, hey, our priority is to our priority is to go is to go after Straw Hat pirates and La Straw Hat pirates and Law Law's alliance right now. I might think in my mind, you said innocent lives are more important to you than your stupid mission. Are you just backing down on your word, or are you just like um, obeying, obeying Admiral Sakazuki, Sakazuki's orders right now? Because if I remember back to a couple chapters, then like Fujitora says he will stop the rampaging. No, back back in the back back in the couple chapters or a few chapters back then, he says like innocent civilians are more important to us right now. And now he's saying like um, capturing the Straw Hats is our priority. And I go like, yeah, that's cool, but you know like. Are you changing your ways or some kind of acting like thing? You know, it's just confu It's just confusing what he's doing right now. You know, and honestly, like I don't know what he's gonna be doing, but it's going to be one hell of a dangerous. It's gonna be one hell of a dangerous fight right now. You know, and of course, like him, he'll. Of course, each Fuji, Fujitora says like, "I'll stop. Let's stop the rampaging citizens." You know, but I go like, "You gotta think. You gotta think." Way harder than that. I understand your job is to go after straw hats and law, but honestly, look at the civilians around you. You should be, you should, they, that should be your priority first, you know. But I don't know, like Fujitora's just like 
complicated to me. And I thought, like, protecting civilians, like he said, is his first priority before going out to the Straw Hat Pirates in law, you know? And later, later, like, Luffy contacted Robin, or Robin contacted Luffy, and they talked to each other, knowing, like, we gotta figure something out. Tell, tells Rebecca, you gotta hang in, there, hang in there. Don't cry on, don't cry out on me right now. Stay strong. I'm not gonna let your father die. That's a promise. And I like Luffy, man. I mean, he may be all funny and confusing and stuff, but right there, he's got a heart that, like, I can relate to that anybody else can have, you know? And after everything, like, um, is settled, Law warns Luffy, you thanks a lot. It's like the face expression he showed to Luffy is like, is like, thanks a lot, man. You just screwed us over. Like, our priority is to let Doflamingo live and let him butt heads with Kai Kaido the Yonku. But if you kill him here or kick his ass, or I don't know, because killing destroying the smiley factory was his priority, pretty much, he said. And he said, like, if you kill Doflamingo, dude, you're only gonna have him, you're gonna have freaking Kaido on our asses right now, and he, and he, and he's gonna be hella angry, and you don't wanna see him angry going after us, you know, and Luffy had as a plan to, like, um, try to, like, get out, get everyone out of the island or something, and there's another spot of the island that's, like, um, has a bridge right there, you know, and so forth, and later, things are just gonna get, things are just more, things are getting more dangerous as usual, as, Every as all the as every single greedy pirate or something like that, I think it's pirate or maybe other in, in, greedy innocent civilians is going after the heads of those who has been put in the list out there by Doflamingo, that that that, that psychotic punk, you know. And after everything, after everything, what he's been doing, you know, it's like um he's been like he's been yeah. This is just really getting intense right now because Luffy says, I'm going to kick Doflamingo's ass and make him regret it, you know? Law gave him a warning, you know we're going to butt heads with the, with the angered Yonku right now, right? If you kill, Law, if you kill Doflamingo in his smiley factory, you, you know he's going to go after us because we're the ones that caused the trouble. And I go like, well, I was just thinking in my mind right now, well, I guess Kaido isn't that, isn't that stupid after all, you know? Or... Or like um not that kind of a guy to think like um oh you are supposed to make the smiley factory I don't give an excuse like um if it's destroy if you can't give it to me then I'll kick your ass you know I guess he's gonna go after the ones that like um caused caused it but he still don't take excuses like Law says but for Law to say like um Kaido's gonna go after our asses and so forth that's a big deal because honestly I don't I don't because we don't I don't really know how strong Kaido is but he's known to be the strongest beast in the world so pretty much. He's not human, pretty much. That's what I heard or what I read for research about him, you know. And if it if it was true that he could butt head butt heads equal to equal against Whitebeard, then hell, this is that is gonna be one tough of a fight or one it's gonna be one hell of a fight right there, you know. And yeah, here and there, it's like we don't know what the hell is gonna be going on. But for Law to give out that kind of warning, yeah, and. So forth, and it ends where Luffy drags, gets Zoro on Law and drags him there. Even Law is still stuck to the sea stone handcuffs. I'm like thinking, you should get, you should get, you should get him out of there first, Luffy, before you drag him to go out to Doflamingo or something, you know. But in this chapter, oh my gosh, like a lot of funny stuff about Bartolomeo is like all like saying, "Let me be your servant to Nico Robin and so forth. So I was like saying, "Shut up, you." Fucking fanboy, you know. Fucking straw hat fanboy, you know. And how am I thinking? Oh my gosh, it's it's just hilarious. Sorry for not mentioning that from the beginning. I thought it might it might be important to make make out some important points about like um about what the hell's going on here, you know, in this chapter. Oh my gosh, this chapter has a lot of surprising moments and funny moments. One with Bartolomeo and one with Usopp saying, Ah, oh, thank goodness he did not notice me. The one who caused all the trouble, God Usopp, five stars, 500 million berry. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so funny. I laughed so hard when I looked at that picture. I go, well, he found out where you are now, boy. <laughs> and now, like, um, Usopp's like, ah, shit, man. What the hell is going to happen now? Tantara George's like running. Okay, we're gonna get you out of here, Uso Land. The moment they looked at the picture, they know it was gonna be trouble. I love this chapter very much. I mean, good progression, even though it might be slow for some of y'all, but I think it's good for me. I mean, five out of five. I mean, this chapter, like, 
crazy stuff is going down, you know, and yeah, and I hope you love this chapter as much as I did, and I hope you enjoyed this review, I am Alpha Zero Forum, good morning to you all, have a nice day, later.